What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. It's Julia. So for this video, I decided to go ahead and do um, a very cool glam holiday look. Um, yeah, this is what I came up with. Um, just decided to curl my hair a little bit. Um, tossed in my favorite hoops. Of course, I could not live without. Um, I just have this black dress on. Um, it's just a velvet black dress. And then um, my little, I guess, cardigan um, from Windsor. It is just the funnest thing ever. I just love this. I think I got it last um, winter. And it's actually really warm and it's got some weight to it. So that's why I really, really like it. If you want to learn how to achieve this look, just go ahead and keep watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe before you go. And without further ado, let's just go ahead and get started. So to start off, I'm just going in with a light brown shade. I just used a little LA Girl Neutrals palette. Just softening it into the um, crease buffing it out um, I just wanted it to be really smoky and just going back and forth building up the browns and taking another warm toned brown um, buffing it back and forth into my crease had to take a coke break um, and yeah just doing that back and forth to the same eye Now I'm going in with a deeper brown um, on the outer V and slowly bringing it into the crease um, just to kind of wing it out and buff it out making it more smoky. I and taking a darker brown once more really packing it into the outer corners to make it um, even darker. And then to kind of cut the crease, I used the Milani um, Hypnotic Lights, the liquid eyeshadows. Um, I just used it as a base um, before I put on my actual glitter. And just packing on the NYX glitter. Um, I just really wanted it to be super fun and shimmery. It's like a silvery kind of holographic glitter. And then just buffing it out with a blending brush, just cleaning up the glitter with a Q-tip, and then going back and forth with um, the deeper shades to really smoke out the edges and blend it with the glitter. And then just doing, just lining my lash line with the NYX Matte Liquid Eyeliner. And moving on to face, I'm starting with the Garnier Moisture Balm Moisturizer. Um, it's amazing. And then for primer, I just went in with, you're surprised, it's the Monistat, the chafing cream, but it's actually really, really good. Um, if you just Google like the ingredients, it's pretty much the same as like professional, so, and it's $5, so that's what I'm going to use, and I have been loving it. It just really smooths out the skin, giving it a even base. And for foundation, just taking my CoverGirl Matte Made Foundation in L80. I love this stuff. Just buffing it out with my Morphe sponge as always. making sure to blend down the neck and the ears. And then for concealer, I'm just using my Maybelline Instant Age Rewind. Um, yeah. And then some of my Maybelline Fit Me in the Fair Shade to really brighten up um, in the inner corners. And to set my eyes, I'm just using the Makeup Revolution Luxury Lace Baking Powder mixed with the Cody Airspun. And making sure to set underneath where I bronze and contour to really sharpen it up. And setting everywhere else I normally get oily and dusting away with a powder brush. Then moving on to my brows while I let my face bake for a little bit. And pretty happy with my brows. Um, moving on to brow gel, my L'Oreal Brow Stylist Plumper. And for bronzer, I mixed all three um, of the lightest shades in the BH 
Cosmetics Studio Pro Contour Kit. Um, and yeah, I just really liked the way it looked. Rounding up the borders of my face and on my chin to really slim it out. And then going with some blush, I just used the Milani Luminoso blush. And bronzing even more, I'm taking the Lumi L'Oreal Bronze um, Light Powder. It just kind of has a little sheen to it. And then dusting away my bake underneath my um, cheeks. And for contour, I'm just kind of deepen it up a little bit with the um, e.l.f. contour powder. And taking it on my nose to kind of slim it out as well. And just setting my face with my Makeup Revolution Sport Fix. And then moving on to highlight, I am going to use my Makeup Revolution, um, it's their highlight kit. Um, it's a quad, so that's what I'm going to use. I'm going to use the more gold shade in the palette. My chin a little bit and mostly on my forehead as well to really make it glow. And just making sure to blend everything out. And I'm adding my same highlight to my inner corner and to my brow bone and just really completes the look now my lower lash line I'm just taking all of the browns and just um, smudging them underneath my lash line just buffing it out not really being too precise with it and then for my lashes I'm just curling them and putting on some um, L'Oreal telescopic carbon black um, mascara to my top and bottom lashes um, and for my tight line I'm just using my morphe dark moon that eyeliner and taking my lily lashes in the style Mykonos um, they're just really thick and full and I thought those would be perfect for this full glam um, holiday look touching up the lash line with some more of the NYX eyeliner I just use my um, sweet tea lip liner from Morphe and I do have two lip options for this video um, I'm going to do a nude with a gloss and then a red with a gloss I just couldn't decide and I thought the look would but would look perfect with both M Maybelline Superstay Matte Ink um, Lip in Driver um, I really really love this nude it's like the perfect nude Oh my god! Wow, I did not think it was gonna do that. So, after comb my hair. Yeah, this is the completed holiday look um, with a nude lip. Um, I did just put in my favorite hoops, which are my square hoops from Forever 21. And yeah, I topped off the lip with my e.l.f. gloss. Um, but yeah, it's just the e.l.f. gloss in Champagne Gleam. I think it's like three or five dollars and it is Amazing the nude lip that I used was the Maybelline Superstay matte ink in the shade driver and Ever since I saw Jamie Genevieve talk about this nude. I was like I Think I wore this for like months straight because I was so obsessed with this and it's still pretty freaking amazing so I really really recommend these these do not come off to save your life so I had to take this off with coconut oil and it's just not going anywhere um, but I do want to show the look to you guys with a red lip as well this time I'm gonna use a um, wet n wild liquid lipstick so let me just do that really quick and then we'll come back this is the finished look with the red lip but I'm going to do the same thing that I did to the nude lip. I'm going to go ahead and give it a gloss. That is the finished look with the gloss. What do you guys think? Let me know what you guys think of the look. Um, let me know what you guys want to see next time. I will see you guys next time. Bye, guys. That's good.